You shall not pass! How dare you? Alright, that works too. <laughs> hey guys, Miss St. Nelly here, and welcome back to another episode of... The Minish Cap! In the last episode, we arrived back here in Hyrule Town and got ourselves a kinstone bag and found out what kinstones actually do. We also played the stupid cuckoo game for far longer than we probably should have. But in this episode, we're going to be wrapping up our business in Hyrule Town and hopefully making a little bit more progress. Now, I do want to explore a little bit more of the town, but hello? Maybe don't pin me up against the wall, lady. That's a little bit creepy. Just saying, uh, this is where you can find the hurdy-gurdy man normally. Which is kind of cool that he's actually still a thing, and he can still fuse with you. Like I said, a lot of these are kind of random, and they activate at different- What? What? Wait, why is that a rupee? I'm actually not sure why that's a rupee. That's interesting. I think I always just, like, pressed L on everyone before I could even see what the icons are. Maybe, maybe it just gives us rupees? Question mark? I don't know. But anyway, a lot of these buildings out here in Hyrule Town are blocked off because they are closed. Like this place. I really want to play a game, but this place isn't open yet. I guess I got here too early. It's the same deal for a lot of these places, unfortunately. So things are gradually going to be opening up to us as we make our way through this game. Oh, apparently this place is open. Uh, okay, apparently he's sleeping. What's up? Oh, welcome, welcome to Ram's Shoe Shop. Lately, whenever I take a nap, all my shoes are done when I wake up. You know, if I can make shoes in my sleep, I must be in the right job. Wow, talk about... Talk about sleepwalking. Even though he's not walking and he's making things to walk with. But still. Uh, there is one place of interest that you can visit before anything else opens, and it's this. Mmm, doesn't that smell spectacular? Perhaps they give out free samples, I say. Would you ask for me. Unfortunately, they do not give out free samples. You actually have to buy them like a peasant. Yeah. So, um, these are big goods that have things inside of them. They say that there's something special in some of these. Unfortunately, we can't actually buy anything, but it's here if you want to. They can have kinstones inside of them. Okay, so I'll just take this. That's fine, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love croissants, guys. I really love croissants. Croissants are the best. Anyway, so that's pretty much everything that we can do that's of particular note. I mean, I suppose... I suppose we can come over here and I think somewhere in this general vicinity... Yes! It's another one of these stones! Yes, yes. I know, Ezlo, it rattles you. you. You are very easily rattled, just like every other bird that I know. Uh, through this door, we can actually meet someone else who's new. The mustachioed guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. There's something fishy about this room, too. Ahem, ahem, I am Hagen, mayor of this fair town. Mayors are usually very important and busy folk, I'll have you know. But I still have a hobby, of course. I collect unusual masks. Well, it's funny you say that. I know someone else in a different universe who also does that same thing, and he... Did not end up okay, just saying. <laughs> You're going down a wrong road, man. Just telling you right now. What's actually kind of fun is that I think... Can you? No, you actually can't. Wow, I thought you could. No, okay, I lied. You can't knock them down. Cool. Alright. Uh, so if we go down here... There is... This! You got a kinstone piece. These mystic stones are said to bring happiness. You'll see that that kinstone piece is kind of like orangish, reddish brown. There's different colors of kin kinstone pieces. I think I implied that in the last episode. And um, you can get those red ones from... Can I fuse with you? And hey, looky here. He's the first person that we're actually fusing with. Uh, maybe something good will happen. So with Hagen... We created... Come on. Oh! What is that? And where is that? Over in Lon Lon Ranch. 
we can't access that yet. Nice! The first one that we're actually doing, and we can't actually access it. Well, I mean, the first one that isn't mandatory. Like, the hurdy-gurdy man outright makes you do his, so that doesn't count. Uh, that, that's a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> I'm really disappointed. I, I wanted to have us, like, go off on an adventure and see the new thing that we can do, but I guess it didn't work out. Oh, uh, if we come over here, this guy says just because you have a sword and shield doesn't mean you'll be safe. I can't let you go out there alone, not until you know some new sword techniques. So that's something that we can take care of right now. Um, out of all of these buildings here, there is one specific one that is a little bit more rustic. Here is a dojo. I am Swiftblade. The finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? Please, yes. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? That's kind of hard to not understand. Aha! Very good! You are a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body as to demonstrate the technique. <laughs> this is really bad. Like, please don't possess me. I don't appreciate not having my own thoughts and, like, body, bodily actions. Okay, so now he wants us to do it ourselves. It's very, very basic, but... What have you? We can do it! We did it! Yes, fine work. You're a quick study. I will now give you this tiger scroll if you ever forget- No, stop, stop! Okay, well, whatever he said. He said some things that I missed. Uh, okay, so we, we've learned things from Swiftblade. Thank you, Swiftblade. Your, your gracious teachings are very, very appreciated. Uh, there are no more techniques I can teach you with your current sword. Come again when you have a new sword in hand. That's an interesting way to put it, but sure. We'll, we'll run with things. The things that you've said. So, now that we are a little bit more adept at using our sword, let's see if that guard will listen to us. Head on over here. Hello, Mr. Guard. How about you stop mimicking my movements? Oh, so you've learned the spin attack. It's still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Well, let's see how you do. Show me that spin attack. I wonder if I can just, like, walk away. Oh, I can. Wow. <laughs> well, I don't want to waste any time, so... Spin attack! Yeah, that's the one! There are monsters out there, kid. You just make sure you're careful. And off we go. This guy is interesting. You want to know what this is? This guy right here, right here. This enemy is called a Keton. Yeah, like the Pikachu uh, ripoff in, in, in Majora's Mask. Yeah, that is a Keton. It is an enemy in this game, and it does not have uh, seven. seven um, we can't do anything here. Wait! I saw something we can do. I want to do this. Um, the eight tails, I think it has? Nine tails? It's nine tails because nine tail fox. And in Japanese lore. What's in here? Oh, hello you! It's been a while since I've had to use my sword. Look at me! Shuffling my inventory like a pro. Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. You can have this most deluxe of all bottles for only 20 rupees. So what do you say, huh? Sure, why not? I don't have enough rupees. Perfect. Well, time to mow some grass. And remember when I said you want to mow the lawn a lot? Yeah, you can get kinstone pieces like this one, but they're always green, so it's hit or miss. Now I'm going to continue mowing the lawn. There's probably better ways I could get money, but if I can get kinstone pieces along the way, that would be really nice. Just saying, game. Please, give me more kinstones, please. Huh! You got five rupees! That's kind of nice! That's, that's, that's a good boost. Thanks. Five rupees. More of five rupees, please. 
Well, I need only four more, so I guess one will go to waste anyway. Oh well. Three more! Two more! Is that it? Is that it? Oh, that's it. Oh! Okay, I forgot about this! Um, okay, directly to the left of Hyrule Castle's entrance, we have a bombable wall! And I only have two bombs left! Whoopee! <laughs> there we go, we can go into here and it's a fairy fountain! Of all things! So we don't actually have a bottle to put them in, but it's still a nice thing. You found a fairy. This reliable ally will replenish your life energy. I don't believe it's a full heal. I think they heal maybe six hearts total. I don't remember off the top of my head exactly how much, but still, they heal quite a fair bit. So now that we've done that, back off to that underground cave place. All right, just saying that mowing the lawn sucks. Let's go ahead and get this most deluxe of bottles. Use it to store all sorts of things. Thanks a lot. Yes, thank you. Thank you. That will definitely come in handy. 20 bucks for a stupid empty bottle. It's like holding up a mayonnaise jar to someone and being like, Hey man, you wanna you want this empty bottle? I ate all the mayonnaise in it, but you can have it for twenty dollars. It's a steal for me. <laughs> I love how I just like suddenly gotten this new sleaze bag voice. That that voice is my ultimate sleaze bag voice. You guys don't understand. Hey, five rupees! I should have come out to these rocks in the first place. Obviously. That is the correct course of action. Uh this says Royal Valley or Mount Colonel. What's up here again? More bushes. I think there's like a there's a there is nothing of interest here. All right, another Keton, which is kind of interesting. I like the Ketons. They're they're some of my favorite enemies design-wise in this game. Actually, they're they're really cool looking to me, and maybe I'm just a little bit nostalgic for Majora's Mask. Just saying. Uh, up here we have something that we can't do anything with, and if we head left of here, we get to Mount Krennel's base. I don't wonder if Edlo says anything. Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten already. What is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I think I need to give you guys some context. Um. <laughs> okay. Context of why I find that really funny is that, um, I have I have an uncle that I'm really close with, and we're best friends, and we're 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 really good buddies. But we we tease each other a lot. We tease, each other, we tease each other a lot, and so between me, my uncle, and my mother, we always go like, "What is wrong with you?" Like with that exact tone and that exact like emphasis. So it's really amusing to me to see that. Uh, a friend of mine lives in a cave just east of here in Shelby Highlands. He has an item. If you're planning on going up Mount Crenel, you might. I think you might need it. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I already. I already have the item, already found it, didn't need your help, thanks. So, there you go, there's my personal little story of the day. You, you guys can know a little bit about some inside jokes of my fam. My fam has them inside jokes. Anyway, so, here we go, empty bottle time, and I will say, I will admit this, I had a heck of a time finding that stupid, that stupid, um, um, Deku business person bi d business Deku whatever because I, I don't know I just couldn't find him and I got I went in here and he was like hey find my friend in the next map and you can progress and I didn't really understand so I spent so long trying to figure out how the frick to make this stupid this stupid vine sprout it was not fun I, I, I can't tell you how you guys how long I spent on this and I feel kind of dumb about it now but that was my initial reaction to this place. It was not a pleasant one, I'll say that much. <sighs> Breathe. Dangerous, no climbing as a giant boulder comes down for my head! Oh, that, that wasn't terribly dangerous. We have tectites! Tectites are gonna be the headache of this area. And speaking of headaches, I have many stories about this particular place. All right, I'm gonna admit this right now that 
out of any area, this area probably frustrated me the most. Like, out of anything, this area probably gave me some of the worst headaches because I was really dumb and I couldn't figure out quite a fair amount of things that I was supposed to do and supposed to figure out. So I, I did look up a couple of things. One, one thing is that these white fluff balls, they look harmless, right? Nope, they hurt you and they hurt bad. They hurt really bad and oh boy, here we go. Open this up. Boom! This is... this is a place. Come on... There we go! Launch across. And let's see. Go up. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It... Uh-oh. Once you pull off their iron mask, these guys are no trouble whatsoever. Thanks for the tip. So we, we could, like, fight them, but I don't really care that much. I really need some bombs. Bombs would be nice. Probably should fight these guys legit though. Oh, 20 rupees! Wow, that was a lot better than I was expecting. There's two over here too, I suppose. Heh, <laughs> two over here, two. <laughs> uh, nothing? Nothing. I don't know, as though I, I didn't pull off any of their masks and they're not giving me that much trouble, to be honest. Uh, bombs? Bombs. Bombs. Please. I mean, I'll take the rupees, too. <sighs> mm hmm Wait, wait, no! I don't want to skip your text! Ah, uh, hey, my boy! Jump into that whirlwind over there for me. <laughs> I wonder, is this a great idea or a terrible one? I feel like I'm being, like, led along. Okay, if we jump into this whirlwind, just like he says, we can... Float! Well, he didn't really say that we could float, but still. He implied that we could. Wait. I need to go down there. Alright, I forgot. This place! We have another business scrub. Come on. Yeah! Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by selling you bombs. Ten of them for 30 rupees, which is really expensive, but I kind of need bombs right now. So I'm going to go ahead and buy ten bombs. Okay, now, I want to... I want to share something with you guys about my experience with this area. You see these white things? These white things? They're all over the place, right? They're all over the place. This is how I got rid of them on my first playthrough. Yeah, you place a bomb and it blows them away. You know, it's kind of simple, right? But with only 10 bombs, you run out of bombs fast. I did not know that you can use the Gus Bellows to take them all out. And I ran out of bombs so many times. And I bought so many bombs from that stupid Deku Scrub. It was the worst and I felt really stupid. That was not one of my shining moments in my gaming, my gaming life. To be honest, I, I, I was pretty ashamed. It was really bad, and I am not proud of myself. Oh! Oh, yeah! Now you give me bombs! Now you freaking give me bombs, game, when I don't freaking need them! Sure, you go do that. You you do that right now. I'm raging a lot in this episode, actually. <laughs> I, I feel like Mount Crennel just does that to me. Okay, uh, I'll be real with you guys. I don't like Mount Crennel all that much. It's creative, and I will concede that it's good. Objectively, it's a good area, and it's very cool in some of the things that it does, and some of the themes that it it has. But I think I'm just really bitter because I, it made me feel really stupid. It made me feel so stupid. And ironically, it made me feel stupid, but I found this on my first run with no trouble whatsoever. I felt really smart with this, honestly. And it's very worth your while because it is... It, 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 oh, right, bombs. I, I was like, wait a second, how do I get past that? But yeah, they're cracked. It is a heart piece! Now you have two pieces, so we can get more in a little bit. Uh, go in here, we have 50 rupees. Go in here, and we get a kinstone piece. 
So very, very worthwhile things inside of this little area. So yeah, I found that secret with no trouble whatsoever. But like actually navigating Mount Crenel and and figuring out what I'm supposed to do, I was not terribly talented at, honestly. It, it was really bad and I'm, I apologize. I apologize for not liking this place because I can tell that it's really great and I know a lot of you are probably gonna be like, no, you're crazy. Why did you not like this area? It's the best area ever. You need to die, please. Uh, hello. Oh, yeah. By the way, you see all of these? All of these patches? I was taking, like, hit and miss guesses with all of these. I legit just stood around, crossing my fingers, and just hoping my bomb hit something. And I thought that's what you were supposed to do through the entirety of this area. That was my life. I'm not even lying. It was... Pretty terrible. <laughs> anyway, we have this rock, and it actually has a new interior that we can see. These gems apparently don't hurt us for some reason. I can understand the mushrooms not being terribly threatening, but still. So this perfectly look normal looking stone was another portal to the Minish world. There may be other rock per portals. Keep, an eye keep your eyes peeled, boy. Boy, you keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. All right, so uh, with that, we can, ouch, stab ourselves with these stupid prickly whatever the frick they're so supposed to be. Drop down and it's a minish hole. Water is life for cranel beans. The blue beans grow when you pour water on them, like the ones at the base of the mountain, as we saw. But the green beans, ha ha ha, green beans, like Mount Crenel mineral water. Mount Crenel mineral water can be found only in a spring here on Mount Crenel. Well, really, the spring is closer to the base of Mount Crenna. So we have to go back and find... Hey, a kinstone piece. No, not a kinstone piece. But we have to go back and find green water. Ah! No! Don't push me back in! How dare you! <laughs> also, I kind of giggled about green beans because um, I have... I have another story! Wow, this is just the episode of stories, I guess. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of smile when I think about green beans because that, that's a, such a weird sentence. I'm sorry. I, I, I just keep saying these things and I'm like, wow, I, I'm, a, I'm a loser. <laughs> yes, this vegetable made me smile. But no, um, I remember I would go to the grocery store with my parents as a child, right? And I would always sneak little green beans off of the veggie pile and I would always just kind of munch on them while we were going through the store and I felt like such such a rebel I always felt like a huge rebel when I went for these green beans and snuck eating them because I was like I'm breaking the law I'm stealing these green beans and I'm eating them and granted that was probably not a good habit to get into and probably not like the best thing that I probably could have done but <laughs> I don't know. Um, when I was a kid, I just I just loved green beans so much. Specifically, green beans. I would always like pick them up and I would always munch on them. Just silently try to sneak them. And I would look over my shoulder and everything and ninja snatch it off of the shelf. And I would be like, hey, I did it. I did it. I stole this green bean and I will munch on my prize bean. Yeah, I was kind of a loser. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, don't do that, kids. Don't steal green beans out of the out of the grocery store. Uh, definitely eat them, and I should have stayed stayed small. Let's go back and small again. Yes, let's go back and small again. I'm just having the best time with wording things. Uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and grab at the end of this place. I'm gonna kill you guys first. Yeah, I, I have a lot of stories this time, for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why, but things in this game are reminding me of things that have happened to me in the past. Uh, this giant bean is giant in comparison to us. I don't know, apparently when we become small, we also inherit ant strength. You know, ants can lift up to 50 times their own weight. Because I doubt... Look at how gigantic this bean is and how tiny we are. Uh, apparently we have... Super strength. Did, did I just die? 
Did I seriously just die in this pit before I threw the bean into it? That's perfect. Good job. Good job, Mustang. So anyway, now that we've placed the bean, as that one Minish said, we have to go and water it. But since it is a green bean, we need to go and find green water. It looks honestly kind of toxic. And I don't understand why a bean would want to grow in that crap. But we'll listen to the Minish, and in the next episode, we'll go off and search for the green water. I will see you guys next time. Masainala out.